dear participants good day to all of you today we meet to discuss part 4 of our uh, unit on digital marketing and branding this is part of our higher module on institutional management for entrepreneurship uh, part 4 will be dealing basically about effective product and service communication as we all know communication is a key to the modern world without communicating your idea your thoughts your product features uh, you are not likely to impress your audience or reach them earlier the uh, companies used to have almost single oligopoly or monopoly kind of a situation where communication was not that essential the competition was not so intense however with a proliferation of brands proliferation of companies the scenario is such that you need to differentiate your product from others and this differentiation is possible only through communicating your product features and essential parts before the digital age communication was done through print media through tv radio and billboard advertising nowadays professionals are well versed in digital platforms such as social networks email messaging apps and blogs so these are now taking over from the uh, traditional marketing uh, scenario which was about print media tv etc and billboard advertising it has been seen through various surveys that in 2019 around 55% of all global households had internet access and brands are preparing on strategies to engage with those users so 55% of global households having internet access is a big number harvard business review in their uh, survey found that 73% of consumers use more than one channel when researching potential purchases so they are not influenced by a single source of communication they look at more than one channel of communication to decide and come to a decision regarding what to purchase and what not to purchase seagate reported that two thirds of the ceos in companies will use digital strategies to enhance customer experience this year so more and more ceos um, up to 2 by 3 they are looking at digital strategies for enhancing the customer experience and promoting their product now digital communication basically is a process of connecting with people across online channels this might involve launching social media campaigns distributing email newsletters running banner ads or publishing native advertising articles businesses can use digital communication to expand their reach share specialized messaging and build valuable relationships with their audiences so to succeed in digital communication marketers need tools and techniques to connect with consumers across touch points touch points are those where a company and a product and a consumer they meet with the right resources communication professionals can build strategic campaigns that reach target audiences and deliver personalized experiences so your mark, uh, message should be such that the customer is touched it delivers a kind of personalized experience for the customer and he gets into adopting your product what are the reasons for launching digital communication campaigns the first reason and the most important is building a brand nowadays brand building is very uh, essential a large amount of the market is taken up by branded products generic products are getting less and less audience today so building a brand involves use of digital communication campaigns businesses can create a brand image for a startup company or transform a brand image for a legacy organization that is moving in a new direction so two kinds of uh, scenarios are there where you need to build a brand one is that it is a startup company and you want to build a new brand second is you already have a very old organization a legacy organization and you want to move in a new direction you, you want to change your messaging you want to change your imagery you want to create a new message and a new awareness about your product through a different uh, messaging technique then generating awareness companies can cast a wide net to let potential customers know about products services and values so a lot of uh, different tools can be used to generate this awareness and companies can use that wide net of tools to do that 
driving conversions campaigns can inspire customers to move through the marketing funnel and buy products either online or at brick and mortar location so while you are going in for a digital communication campaign the output finally is that you want a customer to buy your product so that buying can also be either online or a customer may get influenced through a digital communication campaign but he may go and purchase offline and in a showroom or in a mall or wherever he feels convenient then creating customer experiences campaigns can be customized to build unique experiences and brand affinity through targeted social campaigns one to one messaging apps or live stream videos so customers are engaged they are attracted towards your message they get uh, happy going through the experience of uh, moving along with you in your branding campaign in your usage of your product which you are branding so that kind of a unique scenario will get you assured customers then delivering customer service community managers can answer real time questions to solve issues or follow up with satisfied customers to go the extra mile customer service again is very important and you need to have a very very strong customer support scenario set up where customer Uh, problems are solved their queries are attended to and you take care that they are satisfied once they attract with the customer care people in your organization then managing risk businesses can conduct damage control by building brand affinity and improving brand reputation after a mishap there might be a scenario that your business has had some mishap some bad publicity maybe some accident in your plant maybe some product uh, damaging some uh, particular aspect of your functioning or some uh, bad publicity through certain actions of your executives so that gives your brand some kind of a bad uh, hit to improve that is another aspect of digital communication campaign hey that is about managing the risk then providing entertainment marketers can give audiences more of the content they enjoy such as engaging video series or funny articles so you can provide entertainment through your communication campaigns and that also can engage the audience then educating consumers companies can address consumer pain points where they feel some kind of a offense or some kind of a restriction in their usage of your product and help them improve their life through info informative digital content for example they may be uh, using your product but some educational video along with that product will make it much more uh, enhancing ex experience for your consumer now how do you reach audiences through different methods one of the methods is through email marketers can use email to reach consumers directly through their inbox uh, where they already receive correspondence from their families friends colleagues along with that correspondence your company's correspondence your message will also reach them according to adobe consumers spend 2 and 1/2 hours each work day checking their personal email and 3.1 hours checking their work email so that is a kind of time uh, executives or consumers spend on the email and that is why this particular channel is very very important additionally e marketer reported that 63% of internet users prefer to receive email communication from retailers beating out other platforms such as social media and brand websites so around 2/3 of the users they prefer that whatever messaging the company wants to give should be through emails so what can email do it, it can house a variety of content types it can give you information regarding discounts and offers for seasonal deals new product launches customized recommendations all that will reach your inbox then blog post roundups of recent articles from a brand website or a third party website uh, can be given to you which can even be categorized by vertical and distributed to segmented audiences then birthday or anniversary messages 
are also sent by certain companies to check in with current customers because they have that kind of a database. All of us when we go to a branded showroom, we see that they take this kind of a information from us while billing our product, uh, whatever purchase we have done. So that information is used to give you birthday or anniversary messages and build a, build a kind of personalized repo with you. Surveys to learn more about consumers, uh, learn more about how consumers enjoy the brand experience and services. So surveys can also be uh, done through emails. Then exclusive content such as uh, a peek into new product launches, question and answers or behind the scenes information that can also be sent. That is a kind of build up to the launch of a new product. Then daily or weekly newsletters to keep audience up to date on company developments, newly published content and opportunities to engage with the brand. All this is done through emails. Personalized recommendations for content or products based on previous customer behavior. This is seen by us in our everyday life. Whatever the kind of search we make on internet, uh, the messaging revolves around that. So data is mined and you get personalized recommendations based upon your behavior earlier. Now what are the tips when we are crafting email communications? First thing we need to take into account is we should segment the audiences. Segmentation can be by interest, by the level of engagement or by demographics or any other methodology. For example, brands can send one batch of emails to new customers, a second two customers who need to be re-engaged and a third to loyal customers. We have three kinds of customers. One is who are loyal to you, one who were your customers but are breaking off and the third is somebody you want to convert. So you need different messaging for all these segments. Choose a catchy short subject line. That kind of a subject line helps you to grab the recipient's attention. So the email does not get lost in the inbox or end up in the spam folder. Then include a direct call to action such as subscribe or visit website or learn more or shop now. These kinds of icons can give a direct call to action to the consumer. Then launch engaging social media campaigns. Digital communication is often synonymous with social media communication. Emails were one part of it. Now social media, it has some certain other features. Social media allows people across the world to connect with friends, family, celebrities and the brands through bite-sized textual and digital content, visual content. According to Pew Research Center, 72% of US adults use social media. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, they are one of the most popular platforms. Additionally, it is seen that social media is a top ranked channel for connecting with customers. And 57% of customers will increase their spending if they feel connected to a brand. So with that kind of a reach, social media after email is a very, very important channel for digital communication. Now, if we have to use popular social media platforms to build brands, Facebook is one of the very effective mediums. It can be effective for building an engaged social community either through an official brand page or through relevant groups. You can be part of certain relevant groups or you can have your own brand page. YouTube is another possible channel through for social media communication. As per Forbes reports, brands can use YouTube to build web series, partner with influencers, create how-to videos, give behind the scene looks at their processes and repurpose website content. Then Twitter is something much in use nowadays. Topics such as television, sports and world news do well on Twitter. Uh, according to its 2018 year review, brands and consumers use the platform to live tweet their favorite events, follow and contribute to trending hashtags and connect one to one through public interactions or direct messages. So certain kinds of messaging is good through Twitter also. Instagram is another social media platform and most brands use Instagram show stories, ads, IGTV to reach audiences. It provides a hub for fashion, beauty and celebrity content. LinkedIn is a business to business social network. 
it is useful for connecting with other companies sourcing new hires and engaging in thought leadership so these are some of the differentiations which we can decipher in these social media platforms and use them accordingly now how to build a community on facebook one way is to buy facebook ads you can spend some money and buy facebook ads then you can invest in a video on facebook and it is reported that over 500 million people watch facebook video every day it is even more than youtube then you can use facebook messenger also and 149 million mobile messaging app users in us use it which shows its reach and interactions can be through chatbots through sponsored messaging that to the consumers and all that now another thing is to harness the power of mass media mass media communication has traditionally encompassed tv radio and movies they are the outlets that reach to a wide audience with universally consumable content how how is this mass media now being replaced digital communication platforms like netflix etc have partially replaced tv and podcasts have emerged as an alternative to radio so we have now digital content platforms which are replacing the traditional mass media communication channels like tv radio and movies there are certain strategies for brands to take advantage of mass media communication and those strategies could be shifting tv budgets to digital video platforms advertising on popular podcasts producing digital content inspired by traditional mass media content you have your traditional mass media content in terms of serials on tvs movies and all that digital content can be also uh, similarly mapped onto this mass media content and you can attract audiences create digital advertising strategies how do we create those one is through banner ads that is one way to going for advertising through digital media uh, these are programmatically placed on websites banner ads exist at the top or side of a web page or in the middle of an article they are typically paid for by impressions or clicks how many times a consumer or a viewer is clicking on that that is how the cost is calculated then native advertising marketers pay publishers to create original content that seamlessly incorporates their brand or products native advertising is considered more user friendly than banner ads because it fits into the surrounding content and doesn't disrupt the user experience so that is the advantage of native advertising third method of going in for digital uh, or advertising campaign is through social media advertising on instagram for example advertisers can buy photo ads video ads instagram story ads carousel ads or multiple pictures or videos these ads can be targeted to specific social users based upon interest demographics and behaviors then influencer advertising brands can tap social influencers with target audiences to create content on their behalf a youtube creator for example can create a sponsored video that creatively incorporates products into a narrative then google adword campaigns are another typical way in which we advertise through digital means so i hope that uh, this lecture will give you some idea of how to communicate through digital channels and also give us some Uh, appreciation of how traditional methods and digital methods can be mapped and integrated into each other thank you for a uh, patient hearing